I'm getting too happy with my little cam. Mm. We should just like put, let's just prop it up and just make out. Nah, nah I'm not making out with you. Y'all put these nails on and they ain't came off. This one, I had to pull it off because it was crooked. <laughs> but these nails don't come off. That glue is something serious. They better not let me get it. I'm going to buy me another two just in case. Because when I say that glue, don't come off. So, I just wanted my P.O. Box to drop off some orders this morning. And I went and looked. And girl, why we got a... Uh, New Shein wig to do. Remember, I think this wig got like blonde highlights in it. I hope I like it. Oh, here it is. We gonna see how I feel about her. Is this a little Valentine's packaging? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little shopping, but let me tell you something. I'm not doing nothing serious because I'm not here to be... I'm not here to really shop till I drop. I'm not even in the mood to do all that. So, I'm probably gonna get me some juice. A little bit of stacks, some trash bags, and some cleaner. That's all I want. I'll do my big grocery shopping in a couple days. She is laughing with no teeth on the side. Okay, y'all. Honey, I'm staying on ties. I'm not getting that much stuff. So y'all will be proud. Honey, now I done came home. And made the strawberry bruschetta. It's so good. Y'all should have did a little video. Because I had to cut the strawberries. Do the bruschetta. Here's like little breads I had to cut. And then I up, put them in the oven. And then here's also the little strawberry mix. I got to do a video for y'all. Let me know if y'all want. And your first name, Tay. I'm Miss Kay. And I'm going to be doing the job pedicure. Or a regular pedicure. Joe. So we have you down for a gel pedicure at 530. And since you are our first time calling here, I would like to let you know about our five-minute grace period, okay? Yeah. Right, and we'll see you then. Have Thank you. Y'all, I'm so blowed. I've been going to this place for a long time. I've been going to this place for a long time. Sugar Polish Nail Bar. And let me tell you something. They are like, they're very Asian descendant. I believe that's what you call it. They're Asian. But they're so rude. So nasty. I don't know what it is. And like, at first when I was going in, they're never like friendly. Like, that's the thing with them. They're never like friendly or never just like um, super just, just nice. Like, it's just almost like whatever. It's like, hey. So, I'm about to park. And this lady, when I tell you, she cuts me off to get this parking spot to the point where she almost hits me. Literally almost hits me. And I'm just looking at I'm like, it ain't never that serious. Like, it's never that serious. To me, like, you can have the parking spot. I'm not trying to crash my car to get no parking spot. So, I get out the car. And I'm walking in. The, lady, the two ladies that almost hit me in the car are behind me. So, at this point, I'm just super, like, irritated. But I'm like, whatever. Walk in. I literally, when you first walk in, you have to sign in. I go to sign in, and then she says to me, um, what is your appointment? I said, my appointment is at 1230. I'm here to get white polish. That's what I told her. That was it. So, <laughs> the two ladies behind me come in. And she was like, do you have somebody specific you want to see? I said, no. So then she tells them, sign in over there. They sign in. I go sit down and then she says, what color polish you want? I said, I don't want a, a color. It's just one white. So she says, okay. And then I'm looking at her. She's looking at me. She tells me to sit down. The two come behind me. I don't even think they had an appointment. I had an appointment though for 1230. I mean for 12 o'clock. They don't have an appointment. They come in. She literally tells them. She tells somebody to go get them and be like, oh, just go ahead and sit them. Go ahead and sit them. And I'm thinking to myself, if I have a 1230 appointment, why in the world am I being seated and they're going before me 
So I say, so I'm looking at her, and then she was like, then she has some another person that comes in. They go. So she tells me that it was a white lady. She said the white lady been look was supposed to go, but she didn't have her polish yet. The two ladies, she's like, well, they knew exactly who they were going to. Negative. That was a lie because the lady said, do y'all have specific somebody y'all want to go? And she said, no, that person isn't in today, so I can go to anybody. That's what the two rude ladies that try to hit me over there. That's what they said. So I go sit down, and there's something in my spirit just said, get up because at the first time, first off, they're not super nice to you, not personal. Don't don't even know you by your name you done came in here consistently constantly over and over again and that is my problem i don't have a problem with all asian salons don't get me wrong but i will say majority of these people that nail salons that are owned by asian people they're rude and nasty even beautiful they're just rude like they're rude it's not even like it's almost just like come on like, that's the energy. So I get up from the chair. I said, you know what? It's never mind. She's going to say, what's the problem? I said, I feel like that every time I come here, y'all are super rude. Y'all are not personable. Y'all are not even nice to me. You don't even know me by first name. And then she looks at the counter and says, your name is Octavia. I said, yeah, it is. But at the end of the day, you just looked at it. You don't know me by name. You don't even get a chance to care. I said, you sat them two ladies down. She was like, well, they already knew who they wanted to be with. That's untrue because I literally, I wish I was vlogging. I had the camera right in my freaking hands. I wish I had just picked it up and recorded so y'all could hear the whole thing. So then she's going back and forth me. No, 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 I'm sorry. Da, da, da. I swear. I thought you were on your phone. I said, no, I come in here every time in this. The, it's the same routine. The same routine is signing on the computer, signing on the computer. Your appointment shows up. You asked me, what are you here for? I said, I already told you a pedicure and I'm not getting no color. I said, so how would you even know where to place me? If, if she was like, well, you on the phone. So that's why I said something. I said, no, I wasn't. I didn't know you were talking. That's what you're going to say. I didn't know you were talking to me. You know exactly who I was talking to. You knew exactly who I was talking to. <laughs> Girl, washed my hands with it. And I, you know what? It's super convenient. Because I've just gone here for so long. But to be honest, it ain't no spot that I can't just go somewhere else. It ain't none of that. It, it, it never gave that. Because I don't, I don't like no, but I'm not in no space of nobody taking my money that is is it's just always going to treat you and i know y'all probably please share me some horror stories share me some experiences because i know us as black women then had some horrible experience with them i can't speak on nobody else because i ain't nobody else but i know with me i have and i think that i am sick of it like i'm just so sick of it and yes i do like the convenience of just going in and get my stuff done but it still feel like what in the hell mind you I look to get my toes as like a luxury. It's almost like a leisurely, leisurely experience because I most of the time just use that as my time to like tap out, listen to music, get my toes done, vibe. But I just felt like uh, I can't do it. I can't sit here and y'all be doing this and I be feeling like this every so often. I just be feeling like y'all just be pissing me off. Like that's what I be feeling. And I was like, you know what? Today is that day because I don't have time for it. I just, I just don't like that. Like, oh my God, I just don't like that. Like people like that and stuff, situations like that, I really have to bring myself down because I be wanting to really like tweak out and just do the most or get like, it'd be like my old me be fighting my new me. Cause I don't like for somebody to play with me. I don't like it. I should have recorded that. I should have recorded. I wish I had. So y'all could have heard. She wasn't even listening to me. She just kept saying, oh, I swear I'm sorry. I'm swear I'm sorry. You swear you sorry now because I'm speaking up. You can cut, um, discontinue my account, delete it. I wonder if you got a call to do that as well. Or if it's just you don't ever show up again. Take me off. Piss me off, bro. I don't like it like that. Baby, let me tell you something. I just left Publix because I said <laughs> I need something that's gonna release some a good feeling in my body. And right now that's food. Cause if I do anything else, I'm liable to snap. I really be feeling like when I go places, I don't be like my car, but I guess I do. 
I'm not in the mood. Let me, like, I feel like I need to do, I'm good, like, I'm not mad mad, but I feel like I just do not like when I feel like somebody playing with me. Like, I'm in here spending dang there every time I get my toes done, $80, and that's already why I don't go get my nails done. I already don't go get my nails done at the salon, because I feel like I'm in there too long. Like, and half time, y'all don't do my nails the way I want them done. It takes too dang on long. Y'all nickel and diamond charge for, for every itty bitty little thing. Itty bitty little thing. So I'm like, you know, I'm not going to keep doing that. That's already why I don't get my nails done. Really, to be honest. So now that I'm getting my damn toes done, and this will happen, I need to start learning how to do my own toes. Straight up. Straight up. So what I'm about to do now is, and it kind of messed my day up because I was thinking about getting my toes done. I was going to get into doing everything else because today I have to do a podcast. Another podcast I'm doing today. I got to do my hair. I got to release my Valentine's Day video. Quite a little bit of thing, edit and stuff. So what I'm going to do is go home. I'm going to edit my reel from the place I went to yesterday, a little pop-up bar. And then I'm also going to do release my Valentine's Day video. I need to make my thumbnail for it. And then just do all my, oh my God. My other little stuff I like to do. Cause I still got stuff to do, regardless if I'm irritated or not. But, Oh my God, y'all. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Oh my God. So let me tell you what happened. I look like Casper the Ghost, but my makeup really don't like this in person. Let me call, I promise you. Girl, why the heck? I went to my new nail salon. Oh. I'm so glad I switched nail salons. They literally are so close to my house. And they were so much nicer. They literally was super personable. They were talking to me. They was vibing. I was like, this is what I want. This is the service I signed up for. I like a ghost. Let me put this light on too. Because baby, you ain't going to catch me slipping. But yeah, it was like, girl, I don't have time for nobody playing on my top. So I went and got my toes down by this new place. I like them. I feel like I will definitely be going back to them and they made me feel super comfortable like and that's this, if this is your sign right now if somebody's not giving you the service you want change it change it if somebody is not giving you the service you would like change it I promise you because one thing about it in 2024 we not sticking with nobody ain't sticking with us and I feel like I get them people so much of my money to be acting like that with me baby try another person so right now I'm um getting ready to i'm waiting on my friend but then we're supposed to be going to the rich and unemployed podcast with jonathan so if you guys are interested definitely check that out honey this is my year of like growing flowing and doing whatever i freaking feel like i need to do and i'm just excited to go on the podcast i feel like i went on a podcast last week with boss Britt. i can't wait till y'all see that i'm doing this one so it's like i think i'm just really trying to find my footing in atlanta and i'm proud of myself and happy that she's happening because baby i just i don't know and i ain't gonna hold y'all i feel like in atlanta i'm just doing so much more than i was doing in la like yeah la had a lot more to offer far as like event wise or networking spaces i guess bigger space nah i'm not gonna say that that kind of sound crazy i feel like la is la so you know it's hollywood like you know you can do it but in atlanta i think this is more of my niche or niche but i feel like niche um and it's just easier for me to move around and coexist network and just be out there so i'm actually really excited i did my makeup really pretty today i got on this black shirt and i also have on these little these little pants um but yeah that's what kind of the vibe is giving i'm just waiting on my friend once my friend here yeah, baby I'm gonna go inside because I'm early low key. I'm like, it's like 9 24. So, 
As soon as he can, we can pull up. Is that you? I'm by the Regal. Regal what? White, white Tesla. Oh, I don't see you then. It's a spot know, right here. Somebody. Well, you're not gonna be there. Okay. Is there any other parts? I don't see one. They literally just got it. It's right next. It's right in the front. But it's kind of a lot of people over here. Yeah, they're going to the movie show. It's a lot of bars over here, too. Okay. Okay. Lady, move. Thank you. Okay, okay. well, let me know when you get out and get walking because I'm right in front uh, of it. You in uh, your truck or your car? My car. Okay. Okay, boo. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, we on the Rich and Unemployed podcast, man. Y'all. Me, me and Tay. Y'all gotta tune in. You know, she LGBTQ, he but. said y'all was asking for me. What? I appreciate y'all for doing that. Mm-hmm. You know, usually I try to get these women to, you know. Not convert. Yeah, but she didn't. She ain't going. But you know what? Because I'm just I, like him. I'm his twin. Yeah. I can keep her around to give me more bitches. That's what that's what we fuck up at. We try to get the bad bitches and try to lock them down. All we gotta do is get some bad bitches to get us more bitches. So, look at you, that's my a skill. natural vlogger. You should start vlogging. I should start balling. I'm about to go to. Um, yeah, too happy with my little cam. We should just like put. Let's just prop it up and just make out. Now, now I'm not making out with you. Why not? You know that's my kiss again. He called know? me today. I told him don't call me no fucking more. He made it to YouTube. Yeah, he cute. He fine. That's my, that's my. If I'm gonna do it, that's the one I'm gonna do it with. Mm. But I'm not doing it. He's not yet. He think he gonna get me something. Not, I don't want to get her. I promise. That's yeah, cause we friends. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to get you. There's some women that you just gotta keep as friends. Like I, even if it's like I feel like it's a challenge, and I know I probably can conquer, or I think I can. Uh huh. It don't really matter to me because. We love it here. I didn't beat a lot of challenges. They don't. Tay is, Tay is the one that you just don't, don't have. Tay is the way you don't let get away. And then she be she got this fucking voice and fucking look about herself. That she he told me I was seductive and charismatic. She just got this look like she just. I thought she wanted to fuck me the whole show. He's lying. It's I, because my energy gives I that. Thought way. that's what I'm gonna thought. But she, my mind is like I'm plotting on deception. you. Deception. She deceived. Me. <laughs> I was deceived. That's a, that's a good fucking word. Deceived. That's man. a good word for it because. But it's okay. You call me on my shit. I like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, friends. I'm out of really? Where is it? Okay, I did the podcast. It went really good. She gave me a little hoodie. Chat, I took some photos, but I don't know if I was too bright. Me and my friends gonna get something to eat. I don't wanna drink too much though. Oh my god, friend! Hello. Are you okay? I'm so sleepy, y'all. Let me put y'all up. Let me put y'all up. So let me tell y'all what's tea, what's going on. So last night I went out to I well, I did a podcast, y'all seen it, and then I went to Rebel. And I went to Rebel because that was one of my friends. It was her birthday. And it actually was a cute kiki. Um, Rebel is a really nice club if you just want to vibe and bop. 
But I ain't gonna lie, Atlanta be Atlanta in. And when I say that, like, we went to the club, but it was like street parking. When I say street parking, not even a parking space, just along the lines of the street. Girl, they was charging $40 to park on the street, like, against, like, the, the sidewalk. Not a parking space, not a parking lot, like, against the strip. And I'm like, okay, Atlanta's Atlanta again. But um, overall, it was pretty cool. But then it was a little bit of beef and smoke because, you know, when I'm at the club, I don't really, like, care about people bumping and doing stuff because I feel like we're at a club. Like, if you're just that type of person, you should just stay home. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a person that, like, if you bump me or do something or, like, spill your drink on me a little bit, I don't trip about it. But I was in the section, and clearly my, my friend, she didn't really know them girls like that because they had came with somebody else. So I'm sitting there in the section. So the girl is sitting on like this seat up top and I'm sitting like I'm sitting in the actual seat, but it's a section. So she's sitting up top the section. So it's like almost like I'm sitting in front of her legs, but it was no problem at first. But then like she proceeded to, I don't know what she did, but she knocked her drink and it went, y'all seen my outfit. It kind of like went in my bag, like the drink went in my bag, not the whole drink though. It was a good amount of the drink though. So I look back and she was just looking at me like, I'm looking at her like, is you going to say sorry or something? So then finally she says like, my fault. Okay, but the thing is, you're going to say my fault, but are you going to reach for some napkins? Like, so I had grabbed the napkins off the table and I turned to my homeboy so he could like wipe my back off. And he was like, I know that is not laughing. And I looked up and the girl that had like told me my fault, she started laughing. And I'm like, that's when... I'm like, okay, like, I I understand people dropping drinks and stuff. I'm not going to trip about that. But when you laughing and making it, like, it's funny or, like, you did something, to like, I don't know. She was kind of with her homegirl, like, <laughs> like, like, something like that. <laughs> and I was like, you know me at that point. Like, I'm very changed, but I had to say something at that point. So I said, I just looked at her. And then that's when, oh, I didn't, yeah, I just looked at her. And then she looked at me, and then she was like, what i said sorry i said yeah but you're over there laughing and i said ain't nothing funny so at that point i started kind of getting like on my old me but y'all know i've been working on my masculinity because i do have masculinity inside of me like a lot so i was like yeah i don't want to dog walk her real quick so what i'm gonna do is let it slide but i definitely like she felt me so when I said let it slide, it was like I didn't take it to 10 when I really wanted to take it to 10. I just kind of gave her that look like, all right, now. Like, I ain't know. Like, let me tell you something, baby. I ain't tripping out, but that don't mean I can't trip. You know what I mean? What y'all feel about that? Like, I feel like if it was just a drink, she said, sorry, cool. But the fact that she was laughing and then it was this guy where he was so old. <laughs> and he was just tripping the whole night. Like, he was tripping on all the females. I'm like, why are you in a section with females? You tripping? Like... He didn't want nobody touching his bottle. Mind you, I had a bottle. So I wasn't even worried about his bottle. My friend had wanted a shot. My other friend wanted a shot. So I was giving her the bottle. He grabbed the bottle back up my head. I'm looking like, what? So mind you, I'm like, why is he tripping like this? So the bottle, it's so funny. The same bottle he tried to grab out of all the females hand. His homeboy, which I believe paid the majority of the section, literally was like, yo, Tay, you want some? And literally tried to pull me some liquor out of the same bottle. So I'm like, mister, I don't know why. I feel like you ain't got a bag like that. Like, don't nobody be pocket watching no bottle. No, especially no guys. Like, so I was just like, um, yeah, them people ever go out with y'all again, don't ever invite me because I don't like that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's what happened with that. But also, you guys, right now, my podcast interview is out with the No Homo Show. So y'all know what we do. Go run it up. Go comment. Go like. Go um, subscribe for sure. And tell them Tay sent you. Or just, you know, watch the interview and comment on it. What do y'all think about it? Let me know. I definitely dropped some gems and some tea in there. And it was like a really fun kiki. I think people are really going to enjoy it. Um, But yeah, y'all. That's what's kind of been happening with me. And I got some really, really exciting news coming in my next vlog, y'all. I've been sitting on it. I've been sitting on it. I don't know how long I can, though. 
Well, I ain't gonna be sitting on it that long because y'all know I upload every Tuesday and third, no, every Tuesday and Friday. So Friday is the day that y'all gonna know. But I just am really proud of myself. I've been outside, I've been moving, I've been getting it around. So yeah. Also, I need to play on me a V-Day shoe and do a couple things with that. So, yes, but go definitely go watch the podcast. I hope nobody takes it the wrong way or it's no like, I just feel like I just like to talk and I speak my truth and I don't really, that's it. I don't feel bad about it for real, but you know, I just, I just want to do my thing. <laughs> But y'all I don't know. I just feel like 2024 is my year. Like I just feel super inspired, very happy. I'm very intentional. And I think that God is going to bless me and is blessing me with seeing the methods of how I'm trying to take stuff serious. One thing I believe is like, even if you're doing some work and you feel like it's not paying off, the work that you're doing, God sees that work. He sees it. So he's going to make sure you get your blessing, made, whatever that may be or whatever you might need. He's going to instill that because even if you, the masses is not liking the pictures, even if the masses don't see the views, even if everybody don't see everything that's going on, God sees the work that you're putting in because there's a lot of people that don't put no work in. And when you put that work in, you're going to get it back every single time. It's just a matter of time when you get it back. Literally. Like, it do not matter if it's 10 years, 20 years, freaking two years, 22 months. Like, I don't know. Like, it does not matter. When you put that work in, that work is going to come back to you. And I really believe that. Because there's times I put work in silently. And I just kept feeling like, ain't nobody watching. Ain't nobody watching. Ain't nobody watching. Ain't nobody watching. And boom. Here's something come to blow me out the water. So, I just feel really good this morning. I hope you guys have a blessed morning. I love you guys so much. Like, y'all been rocking with me. And I just feel like, sometimes I just be feeling like it's me and y'all. Because, some like, I don't know. I talk to y'all more than I talk to, you know, one time I was talking to somebody, like, and they said, I feel like I don't be knowing much about you until I go to your vlog. And that's where you be telling all of it. I said, I do. I don't know. I just feel super comfortable on my vlog. And y'all give me great advice. Always looking out for me. Always checking on me. And I'm just super grateful. I'm just super appreciative. Love y'all so much. Um, and y'all, a lot of y'all don't really comment like that. And you be saying, oh, I'm not a commenter, but I'm a comment for you. I'm like, thank you, boo. <laughs> thank you. Like, it just helps me with my engagement and just push me through the algorithm. And honey, keeping the lights on and just everything else. So. I just need to express my gratitude a lot more. I need to be better with that. So I will for sure be very vocal and out loud with how I feel about y'all. 100%. And also, you guys, um, I haven't really been speaking on them too much because I've been so busy. But don't forget, you guys, I'm still selling my books. Glamazante.com. I'm selling the Embrace Your Essence book as well as the Digital Influence. Go purchase those books. They are available, y'all. Um, get on your social media stuff, get on your Zoom and stop playing games. It's not time to be playing games, it's time to be taking stuff serious. Procrastination is going to be your worst downfall because one thing about it, you keep wait, putting it off until next week, next month, tomorrow, and then what? A year went by. So at that point, you need to do it now. If you're trying to get on your digital hustle, go get the book now. If you're trying to tap into your Zen, go get the other book now. Like, I'm telling y'all, you cannot be waiting around. Time waits for nobody. And before you look up, you're like, dang. You got to think about it. I've been on YouTube for, what, 10 years now? It's going on freaking 11, I think. Like, where'd the time go? I'm telling y'all, y'all can't wait on nothing. That's why with me, I'm going hard. I'm tired, but I'm going hard. I don't care because I know this work I put in now, I'm going to get it all back. I'm telling you, if you're trying to get on your Zoom, you better get on your Zoom now. I won't keep waiting because you don't know. Tomorrow ain't promised either. Psh, baby. Better do it like a show B day. <laughs> Let me stop. But good morning, y'all. I'm in a great mood. Hopefully, y'all are as well. Comment below. Let me know what y'all doing. Also, comment below throughout the vlog. Let's get it going. Bye. Hey, y'all. Good morning. I literally just got up, y'all. I'm kind of a little bit tired. Last night was a little crazy, but it went good. But I just want to say to y'all, I really, really 
appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all so much. And I don't really feel like I give y'all enough gratitude. And I think that I need to do something. Like, I need to do either, like, a brunch or a meet and greet or something. I don't... This is just coming off the top. This is nothing pre-planned. I'm not pre-promoting anything. Nothing. I'm just saying I need to do something because... When I tell y'all every time somebody got a podcast or got something, y'all spam my name in the comments to places I never even known. And every time it's something going on, y'all always adding me, tagging me, be like, Tay, talk about this. Or y'all reposting my stuff or you're liking my stuff. Or y'all know I've been trying to do my reels on Instagram and y'all just been liking and commenting to help me out because... <laughs> You know, I'm trying to do something new. And I'm just like, damn, y'all really be showing out for me. Like, I'm so appreciative. I really am appreciative. Like, I'm so appreciative. And I'll be, like, even when I went on a podcast yesterday, um, Vanessa wrote me and said, basically, everybody had commented and was like, like, we love Tay. Like, and it's just like, dang, like, y'all really be just rocking with me. Like, and I always hear that every time I do something with someone, they always be like, yo, people, like, they show out. And I'm just so appreciative. So, thank y'all. Um, y'all, I just need to, yeah, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. So I need to do something. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but bear with me because I'm going to get something going. Um, next. So I actually need to clean my room. Um, I'm going to get on live. I normally don't get on Instagram live. I'm going to see how I feel about it. If I don't like it, then I'm getting off, but I'm going to get on live. And then also I'm going to... I don't know. I got invited to go out to brunch today. Somebody asked me to go to brunch after I got done cleaning. So I might go. I might not. I'm kind of tired. I'm hungry for sure. And I don't really have much going on to be honest. Um, yeah, but I think I just need a day of relaxing. I like to like get in my book and read my book. I want to maybe pray today. You know, just kind of reset my energy for the week. So... That's what I want to do. And I also want to take some pictures with my homegirl. Go get some pictures done tomorrow. We don't really got nowhere to go. But she did ask me that I want to go out to eat. So I might do that. Because I don't know if I'm really in a mood to really like just throw some makeup on again. I have been wearing the topical stuff on me, but guys. But you see that red mark? Last night I was a little lit and slid down a wall. <laughs> so that's where that came from. But the other mark, I don't know if it's really working. I hope it is though, but we'll use this as like our reference pick because I've been putting it on this. I've also been using it on my other elbow because my elbows are pretty dark and I've been using the Koji soap and everything, but I just want them a little bit brighter. Um, but yeah, y'all, cleaning up, making outfits. I'll probably do outfits later, but I'm definitely cleaning up and trying to hang stuff up because I'll be all over the place, child. I'll be all over the place. I need to charge this freaking thing um because this is about to die is this my phone charger yeah it is so that's what i got going on but i'm gonna check back in with y'all it's a lot going on i need to talk about some situation with y'all we need to talk about megan's situation megan and nikki <laughs> we will get on it that's on the docket list for today we also need to talk about um what is something else i need to talk about Oh, Miss Gal from off of TikTok, period. And yeah, so I'll be back. Tune in. Ciao. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Y'all, I'm so ashy. I'm trying to get this music to turn off, but nothing is doing it. Okay. Good morning, y'all. How are y'all feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm starting my day off really, really good. I got some errands to run. And me and my friend is supposed to be meeting for a little lunch, then something. So, that's what I'm doing today. Okay, y'all. So, y'all know I've been on a journey to lighten my dark marks. This one. I need to put that cream on it, but... Cream be throughout the day. <laughs> That's my part. Okay, so let me go ahead and put some on. So first, I'm gonna end up putting the La Roche Posay moisturizer on my face. Okay, because my foot, I don't know. be able to see. See, so y'all, I've been trying to clear up my like elbows, 
And the thing I've been using now, honestly, is the Koji soap. Well, I've been using the Koji soap, but I was really focused on, like, my legs and knees, and it worked for that. And then recently, I was like, you know, why didn't I do my, my um, other parts of my body? I was like, I don't know. So, also, that's kind of been working, I feel like. And then another thing that's been working for me is I feel like... I don't know, this topicals, I started using it, but we're going to have to really get into it to see if she really about her business because I ain't really been using it that long, but it is the only thing I really have been using on me. Because even with me, I, this is the mark that be like bothering me. And it's been there for like three years. Remember I told y'all I freaking bumped against the wall. So the way I use it is I use the topicals brightening and clearing this and actually take that and spray it all over the area first for both that's what I'm gonna do and then I take well I kind of let it dry a little bit and another little tip and trick I've been using is putting shea butter on at night this African shea butter and it's been I feel like working But I ain't gonna lie, I didn't really grow up putting a lot of lotion on. Like, I was never somebody that was like, oh, let me put some lotion on. I never was like that. <laughs> I don't know. My mama just never, like, focused us to put lotion on. I feel like now I'm thinking about it. Do I even remember my mama really wearing lotion? But the crazy part about it is I would know if somebody's ashy. And I don't think I was ever ashy because I would have been like, let me get something. But, ooh, there's a lot coming out. I don't know why. Okay. So, I'm literally... I'm gonna take that, put this on my elbow, and kind of rub it in. Y'all let me know. Have y'all used it and it work? I've been only using it for maybe like about a week and a half, almost two weeks now. So kind of that's what I do to lighten up my dark marks because I'm trying to get my body together, honey. Summertime is coming. Oh my gosh. But it do got a little stank smell to it. I ain't even gonna lie about that. I'll put some right here on this. I don't know what that's from. Ugh, we need to get this off of me. Oh my God, I hate this thing. Mm -mm. Okay, and then it's a little in a cap, girl. Let me just put it on. Okay. I don't want to put it really on nothing else. Like right here. This one's kind of still open. This mark. But I'll put it here. And voila. That's what y'all do. So let me get to my beauty room. My favorite room in the house to do. To do. Because she transforms me. Because it's time to do hair and makeup. Look at them. Now, these severely have went down since I got my steroid shots. But I probably should get more. Because this side look good. I want my back to be like one of them little pretty backs. I feel like I don't be liking these little bumps. Well, they're not even bumps. They're like, I don't know. Whatever it is. But we're going to get it off. Cause... And then this one, too. Probably need to put some stuff on that one. Because that's the one... That's on the back of my. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna do nothing for these, but I'll still put it on there. So we'll see. All right, y'all. Let's get into the rest of my stuff. I don't think people don't like it because it's Nicki Minaj, but I'm that's not true. Nervous. That is not true. No, 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 no. And I'm, I'm saying it because y'all, everybody is forgetting that this is, this is Nicki Minaj. Right? Go back to all of her. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. So the beat is done. Y'all see it. So I'm about to now get dressed. I think I want to do some content of like getting dressed because I'm going on a cute little um, brunchy day with my home girl. And yeah, also, let me grab my stuff. Everything's cute. 
So I'm ready to do my makeup. I mean, what up? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm tripping y'all. I'm not ready to do my makeup. I am ready to head out. We going to somewhere called Houston's. I've never been. Honey, one thing I love is a good lunch. A little good lunch and a good brunch. You hear me? But it is only like, what, 152. So I'm trying to leave here. Let me see what time, how far I am away. Give me a cute little green outfit on. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my God. It's saying it's 20 minutes away. So I really don't have to leave until a little bit later on. But I'm about to set my camera up and stuff. I'm about to set my camera up. Honey, I know y'all been seeing the Nicki Minaj. The Nicki Minaj. And the mother freaking, um, what is it? Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion beef. And people have been asking me like, how do I feel about it? And what is my take on it? And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that. Megan did eat on her verse. I mean, Megan did eat on her diss. She did eat. But I also think her diss ate a lot more like the way it did because she responded to a couple different people. She was speaking to a couple different people. And you know, when you you throw it, like, I don't know. I guess it's only, to me, I feel like but it's only but so much you can say about one person. So when she threw her stuff out there, she was hitting, and I also feel like her bars was very memorable. Now, y'all know I am a barb. I'm a barb. I'm not a hottie. I'm a barb. But I will say with Nikki, um, I really had, you really gotta know the T of Megan to know what she was talking about when she started throwing her stuff. Her stuff is a lot more like, I don't want to say intellectual, but it's more of like, you got to know if you know. Because at first I had to listen to it and I didn't really get it. And then I listened to it again and I was like, okay. So, you know, but she said she dropped in five different songs. I mean, what do y'all feel about it? Y'all feel like Nicki ate? Do you feel like Megan ain't? Personally, I did like Megan's song, His. Because I just like the flow of it. I feel like with Nicki, I hope in these next five songs, she's coming on some stuff of like, What's the word? She just coming on that old flow she used to have. Like, I just want straight, raw lyrics. Yes, she's doing her theatrics and she's doing the Roman. But I think with me, sometimes I think the theatrics for me is when I'm just vibing. When, when I'm trying to intently listen, I just want to hear straight out the gut. But I definitely think she got something up her sleeve. She said she got five songs coming. I don't know. because Well, I guess four songs. Because if she got five coming, she already did one. I guess she got four songs coming. Let's see what it gets. Let's see what it ate. Um, do I think Nick, Megan's gonna respond? I don't know. It's up in the air. It's up in the air. But y'all let me know in the below what y'all think about it. Do y'all think Nikki is, like, did you get it? Did you understand? I feel like more so I had to listen to the acapella version. I'm not really, I'm not gonna say I'm not good at music, but I feel like when I be listening to music, I'm more so listening for the beat. <laughs> I'm horrible. I need to do better, but I do... I'm, I just very. I don't really go into songs thinking like, let me really listen to the um, words. But of course, if they got some rap beef going on, I gotta listen to the words. I'm gonna miss out on the whole entire thing if I don't. But yeah, we gonna see. We is gonna see. Where is that camera at? I literally remember just having that camera out. Drop the low, I'm coming. You already know it's coming. Running for me. Running from me, running from me, running from me. But I feel like also I was listening to 21 Savage. I like his song, Shoulda Wore Your Body, and that song was Summer Walker 8. Y'all need to go tune into that. I kept telling y'all I was going to have a playlist ready for y'all. I need to work on it. Or I just need to share the one I already got. Because that's the one y'all really, really love is the one I already got. So I guess I could just come out the woodwork with it. Because... Booja, booja. But for me to get dressed today, I want to get very much grown and sexy. I want to wear these glasses I've been having. These little green glasses. Y'all always ask me where I got these from. I got these from Shein for like $3. So run it up and go get yourself. But I think I want to do a monochromatic look. I had this skirt I wanted to wear. And then I said I wanted to wear this little clueless jacket over it. Because I think I love the sleeves. But it didn't, it didn't really like... Kind of when I put it together, it didn't really eat the way I did. So I have these pants. They're like um, green. And I think I wore them when I was in Bali. 
or no I wore it when I was on my way to the Maldives like for something to wear and it was super cute and then also I had this fit I really 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 keep talking to y'all about this fit this but the problem is my friend was like it's giving cute but you don't gotta dress up and do too much so I'm like okay well if I don't gotta dress up and do the most like I don't want to waste the fit so I'm thinking that if I go on a date because somebody did ask me to go out to eat and I'm like okay I'll probably go then I'm just gonna wear that because one thing about it the girls have been treating me and wanted to um do the most so I got this coat y'all remember this coat from Fashion Nova and I also got like a regular mesh green shirt but I got this old oh 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 this is like an archive savage um bra that I want to put underneath it so it's like green and monochromatic I don't know how it's really gonna eat but I hopefully it looks cute. Like I think it'll I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So I just want to do a video real quick on get dressed with me. I also need to do a video on the looks for Valentine's. Bunny, I just be having a lot going on. But the girls are fighting, honey. The girls is fighting, but Shoot, let's bring something back because people, and then it's so crazy. I didn't even know that Lotto and that girl, I cannot remember her name, they had dropped the song. I'm like, baby, this was not the weekend to be dropping music because nobody caught the tea. <laughs> nobody. Because at the end of the day, we all know what we worried about right now. It's the Nikki and Megan situation. So if you dropping a song, you better wait till next week if you can. But that kind of be sucking, I guess, if people already got they, um, what's it called? You already got your, like, your, PR and stuff in in order for a certain date and then they just start this random situation and at that point which I really which I really dropping for because I'm gonna be honest Megan can rap and Nikki is Nikki she's an icon so at that point baby you better wait and pause your music I wonder what I would be like if I was an artist I, I would be a cool artist I feel like if I was an artist I would give like a flow Millie vibe what y'all think but okay, let me go ahead and do this. I'm sorry. Hey y'all, I'm getting dressed and I'm doing the TikTok at the same time. So here's my look. So I got my boots on. Now I do want to put my perfume on. I'm gonna put actually, let's see. Actually. <laughs> so now that the look is pretty much done, I do want to go ahead and put my little shades on. And they is dirty. Let me clean them off. So don't nobody got time for no dirty shades. Because if your shades is dirty. Honey, let me clean these shades off. I can't see nothing. And if your shades is dirty, they say your panties is dirty too. You hear me? Voila. Because one thing about it, you got to clean your shades. Because if your shades is dirty, your panties is dirty as well. And so nobody got side with no dirty panties. Okay. Clean. So I'm putting my shades on. Now I'm thinking on what coat I want to put on. I have the option between two coats. I have this one that's a little bit more brighter. It's like a trench. Let's see. We have the brighter trench option, which gives me more like nerd, classy, cute. Or we can go with the other option, and that option would be. So y'all let me know which one y'all think. Kind of filling the other option a little bit. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Let me put my. I don't know which one y'all think this one or the long green one. I don't know. In the meantime, which means why y'all commenting it though? That though. Let me put my earrings in. So you know I'm a silver girly now because they said you know when you start getting in your soccer air you start wearing all that gold and honestly. I'm a girl that loves some silver now. I don't know when it happened, how it happened. But one thing about me, I'm gonna throw some silver on. Got my silver hoops. And I got my silver ring. Also, I wanna go ahead and put my little combo of my perfume on. So I'm gonna be putting my Burberry Her Elixir. This smells so good. 
And then I'm also going to pair it with my Black Opium YSL. Because I'm trying to give a nice little warm scent. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the Long Trench. Don't hate me. I think the Long Trench is what I'm going to go with. Because then I'll pull my pants down. I think it gives a little, a little brightness to the look. What y'all think? How y'all feeling about it? What the heck is in this purse? The pocket. What's it giving? But either way, it's, the majority of the fit is focused on this. Now this is, I think I like this color, but the jacket on, I like this color, but the jacket style of the other one. Yeah, and then I'm going to wear just this brown little purse that I ended up getting. And yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna go with the green. Voila! All right, so my little jacket is from Zara. And this is the look. I actually like how the green is. It's a little bright, but I still feel like it gives like a nice little flare and flow. All right, y'all. So what y'all think? Period. I'm on my way to brunch. Stay tuned for the brunch clips. Well, okay, this isn't brunch. This is lunch, but stay tuned. Bye. Let me tell y'all. So I don't know if y'all been listening to new music, but 21 Savage album is busting down. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of the entire album. I think I'm really majority a fan of like two songs. Should have wore your bonnet and the one with Summer Walker. That one ate down and very much so to me as well. But yes, girlies. So, also, I don't know if y'all been tapped in with the drama with Miss Gail on TikTok. If not, I'm going to link her Instagram below. But it's this whole situation where Miss Gail, I'm calling her Miss because she's older than me, but literally, like, she was talking about how she car she was married for 25 years. And ended up finding out that her husband, who was like a real prominent financial advisor in Atlanta and a financial advisor of president of some company, I believe. And literally she found out he was cheating on her and they was together for 25 years. And I feel like that's the kind of stuff that be making me like, when you with somebody and love them and y'all not working out, why won't you just have enough respect to tell them? Like... Y'all been together for 25 years and this is how you gonna pay it off? Like, what? Or pay homage? Okay. <laughs> like, I just feel like if you're not happy or if it's something... With me, anytime I've ever been in a relationship and I ain't been happy, I always just tell the person. I tell them I'm not happy, I tell them my needs. If they decide to still not give me my needs, then that's when I exit the relationship. Like, I... I now, don't get me wrong, I have cheated before. And not cheated like... Um, physically i'm more so like i guess cheated you could say mentally like i checked out but i be telling people but i also know some people just want they can't get it too maybe they want this as a temporary fix and tell but nonetheless she basically found out that her husband was cheating on her because she said <laughs> she had called the airlines uh to find out when her husband was going to be landing and when she called the airlines basically the person on the phone said um what's your husband's name basically because she asked him well she, basically she was telling him what's this the flight information i'm trying to figure out where my husband lands so he the person on the phone i guess proceeded to continually ask like what's your husband's name What's your husband's name? And finally, she gives her husband's name. And he's the person on the phone says, well, your husband, da-da-da, and Miss da-da-da will be landing at so-so time. And she was like, huh? And he said it again. So if you caught that tea, basically the person that she called on the airlines, they was letting her know in a roundabout way, your husband and this woman will be landing at this time but she said it in a way that was like 
they said it in a way that was like did you catch it because i guess in a sense that's kind of like i don't know if it's illegal but i know that that's not the information she really asked for so she got more than what she barked for also i feel like when god be looking out for you no man can get in the way so that happens now i didn't know also when you have an amax card um basically when you purchase flights and stuff and do hotels and all that kind of stuff it has the person's name and the person's name of the flight you bought so honestly i'm gonna invest in one of those especially when i get uh, uh married because i never knew that like when you purchase stuff with a debit card it just say oh delta flight southwest flight it doesn't put the name with this credit card it puts the name i never knew that did y'all <laughs> so then after that y'all gotta watch it from her perspective but i'm basically briefing up what it is and then she says that after that she tells her husband they talk about it she's talking about okay we gotta sell the house we're gonna move away we're gonna try to work on things we're gonna get it together he talking about well if that's what you want to do that would have broke my heart what do you mean if that's what i want to do clearly that's what i want to do i want to stay married and this man talking about he he was like she was like well it's something about a divorce and he was like well, i'm not gonna let anybody mess my money up okay so clearly you've been checked out you just really only staying into it because it is so she's in the process of a divorce she goes to the airport girl she sees them to buddha beta let me tell you something what and i've been in that situation too where i walk in on two people that's like um you know this is my person and they doing them i've walked into a situation like that and when i tell you i went berserk i literally just started like tussling and i think that when you got like and my mind went blank i don't think my mind has ever went blank like that again but in that particular situation it did and she said with her and him like when she seen them she spoke and then it was some words exchanged and stuff but you gotta follow her tiktok because she told this story girl that was like our first video her whole thing blew up the whole entire thing that's because i feel like it was so relatable and it was so mind-blowing that like you really could be out here with a person and thinking one way and your whole life could be turned upside down that's why also i'm not really in a rush i tell y'all all the time like i'm not opposed to being in a relationship like if it happened it happened but am i in a rush no because i know like mentally i'm good i'm i'm a very stable person but when a person play with you on your emotions and my heartstrings are super big like it's only but like when i like somebody love somebody oh and they have me like in a in a space i'm kind of vulnerable to them because i love them so much so if you play with my emotions like that god help me i hope he stays in my mind when i when it's, if something does ever go wrong because in the past i've went blank but i also was able to pull myself back before i went too far but you can't just be out here playing with people feelings like that and apparently the woman she posted a video of the woman too and the woman was giving a little some nice nasty smirk like she was happy that this was caught i just feel like child it's some tea it's it's a big situation but i feel like it's just scary like it's scary to be committed and i say it is scary because it's like i'm really giving you all of me and i just hope and pray that you're giving me the same in return because a lot of people ain't ain't like that like they're just not and everybody ain't built for the truth so y'all be careful and be safe out here i mean have y'all ever had a thing of like your mind going blank i feel like i don't really care to tell the story but maybe a get later on i will tell it but i just went blank like almost when i say blank it was an enraged blank it wasn't blank like it was a blank like somebody better somebody better get out of my way because this is about to get really physical well it did get physical it's, it's i don't know y'all i don't know and like i said she dates a man but dating these women ain't no better because these women will do you wrong and have you turn upside down like and I think that's why with social media, this is just letting everybody know we are all connected and everybody pretty much be going through the same stuff or have had a same situation. That's why I will not get on nobody's internet, play, laugh, and kiki and joke about nobody's situation because at the end of the day, them tables could just be turned and that same thing happened to me. And then what? And then what? Like, at that point... Let me tell you something. You made me feel stupid. I don't know what I'm liable to do. Because I don't like that. I don't play them types of games. That's Them not safe games to play. But alright y'all. Let me get down here where I'm supposed to get to. I'm trying to get to my place of where I need to be. 
and I will talk to y'all in a minute. No boss. Yes, okay, I got the steak mm -hmm. and the cabbage. Mm -hmm. My friend got a little fry. Half potatoes. Big Zay, not the little one. Oh my God, I got something to tell you. So while I did my interview, he asked me, did me and you mess around? He's like, your friend like girls? I said, yeah. He said, did y'all mess around? I said, no. She's like a sis. Yeah. He's talking about, mm-hmm. You better not have known anything. Baby, wow. if this food ain't good, I'm beating your ass. I'm gonna watch it first bite. Was I drunk? When we went to Nobu, you did not take good pictures. Nobu. <laughs> was I drunk? You? Was a mess. It depends if I was a lit or not. And you kept saying, you don't like this? <laughs> I said, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm screaming. I said, you're doing nothing that I need to be done. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Look, don't get the sign. Just, just get it. Just angry. Cute. Let me oh. tell my people I'm taking pictures. What is this? This is cute. It's too green. No, I actually like the green because it's a pop of green. Because you have on green, but it's a pop of green. You're like, what's these boats on your feet? Bitch, I never post these. Come on, let me Why take not? These. Get over there. I'm not posting these. I hate them. They are so cute. No, they're not. Oh, what far? This supposed to be one. First of all, these pants and shirts. Too you can space them a little less. <laughs> because it's giving too close. Being drunk doesn't work. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Your legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna work. Sorry, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, your legs like a jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> my phone's in my pocket. Why are you say nothing? Cause I don't see nothing but these legs. Okay. Okay. Let's... Oh, is I can't. I'm this drunk. is cute though. Oh yeah, they can do a little something. Oh, look at chores. They're trash. I love, maybe do yours by your car. I think, I hate taking pictures with my car. Like, Y'all, I hate when my friends take my pictures. They do not take them good. And it is so cold and I need to go to Sephora. Cause I gotta stop using my lip pencil as an eyebrow pencil. Girl, that's the wrong car key. I'm like, oh my god, my car not starting. Okay. Oh, Atlantic Station. Let's see what it does for me. Hi, right, y'all. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. It's Warm Florals Good Girl Supreme. This is my first time smelling it. It smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I got what I came to get. And now I'm going to... I'm at Atlantic Station, but honestly, <laughs> they can cut the music because, baby, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this ain't nobody over here. Is this how Atlantic Station always is? Maybe it's more popping in the summertime. Okay, let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. So I went to the Sephora and Atlantic Station, but I promise you, it is nobody over here. It's dead. I don't know if people just gonna be over here or what. So I ended up getting a lot of little pencils. So I got two pencils to go underneath my eye. Because I want to do like a little bright eye look with no pretty much shadow on my eyes and then i got two pencils because lately to fill in my brows i've been using my eyebrow pencil and i'm like baby you need to cut that out that's ghetto so now i'm about to go home i'm about 20 minutes from home oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i'm a little turnt y'all listen to my music Oh my god, I didn't get off here.